Hello, welcome to this spooky edition of First Page Friday. This is October 29th, 2020, and we are going to read something from Mary Downing Hahn, who has won more South Carolina Book Awards than any other author. This is from one of her newer books, The Girl in the Locked Room, but we have many other ghost stories by her available in the library. In this particular book, Jules and her family have just moved into a house. She's very lonely, and then she notices a pale face in the upstairs window. This first chapter starts saying, the girl. The girl is alone in the locked room. At first, she writes the day of the week, the month, and the year on a wall. She means to keep a record of her time in the room, but after a while, she begins skipping a day or several days. Soon, days, months, and years become a meaningless jumble. She forgets her birthday and then her name. But what does it matter? No one comes to visit. No one asks her name. No one asks how old she is. At first, the room seems large, but soon it shrinks or seems to. It becomes a prison. The key disappeared long ago. No matter, she's afraid to leave. They're waiting for her to open the door. She feels their presence, faint in the daytime, but solid and loud at night. Their boots storm up the steps. They hammer on the door. They yell for her to come out, but how can she? The door is locked from the outside. Even if she wanted to, she could not obey their commands. She huddles in the shadows, her eyes closed, her fingers in her ears and waits for them to leave. The trouble is, they always come back. Not every night, but often enough that she always waits to hear their horses gallop toward the house, to hear their boots on their stairs, to hear their fists on her door. She used to know who they were and why they came, but now she knows only that they are bad men who will hurt her if they find her. They say they won't, but she doesn't believe them. So she huddles in the wardrobe under a pile of old dresses and doesn't move until she hears their horses gallop away. If you want to find out what happens next, you'll have to check out The Girl in the Locked Room from the Sangree Middle Library.